Well, I'm going to do my hair again. I haven't done it for a very long time. I do have a little bit of um, Bright Organics semi-permanent uh, hair color in my bathroom cupboard. So I thought I might as well just use it. I can't remember what colors I've got. I think I might have a purple in there. Yeah, I'm just bored. It's Saturday, nobody's home. I'm home by myself today. Um, there's not really anything interesting to do. Like I don't have any housework or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I just thought, why not make a vlog of me doing my hair again? So yeah, stay tuned, but I'm gonna make a coffee first and then I'm going to um, set up and make my hair look cool again. I made this nice coffee and then I overfill it and what a dick. All right, so they're the little utensils that I basically am gonna use. I've got my brushes and I actually use this paint brush. It's literally just like a painter's brush. I got from Bunnings. Obviously bowls to put the color in. I have got the following colors. So I have the pastel pink, um, a turquoise and a pastel blue. Um, there is not much in these two. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking I'm obviously just gonna to have to go with the blue because that's an unused box but we'll see what I can get because I am trying to go for the pale look so I will be adding conditioner to dilute it so it's not a bold bright color all right so this is like basically my starting color it's a very dirty blonde it is dirty as in I haven't actually washed my hair so my roots are extremely dirty dirty and oily but it's a dirty kind of blonde um, so I was hoping I had some um, purple but I obviously use that a lot in the past and I had no left I was hoping for like a toner effect but I'm just gonna go with what I've got and yeah just make it as pastel as I possibly can um, I might just do the blue dilute it down and I saw a little trick where you wipe it onto a piece of tissue paper to sort of get your color to see how it comes out I still don't know if that represents what it goes in your hair um, but it just helps to tell if it's like pastel or light enough um, I'm guessing it's just really going to adhere and obviously it's going to be a lot lighter through the end so I'm going to have that natural ombre effect because of my nasty ass regrowth and orange root so basically this is what I'm doing is putting a bit of conditioner in at a time I will mix it and then I'm gonna get a piece of tissue paper and I will just wipe it on there and it will come up a slightly different color so you just obviously wipe up a bit excess and then paste Ugh. okay get off it's very hard to do this one-handed but basically you can see that right there now in my opinion that's probably too dark I still want it a little bit lighter so I'm gonna add more conditioner I'm gonna repeat this process until I have got the color I like Okay, so I got the color to lighten down as much as I could because stupid me didn't check how much conditioner I had left and I just used the remaining amount of conditioner so I don't have anything else to dilute it with but I'm sure it's obviously not going to be as pigmented when I put it in my hair. But this is all about trial and error and I am not a hairdresser so I have no idea if this actually even works. So something I realized uh, I should have just done half the tube of color because obviously when you add uh, liquid to liquid it increases volume so now I have a very full bowl of color um, so yeah I, I think I'm not I, I really doubt I'm gonna use all of it which is a shame because I hate wasting it and it's not like I can put it back in the bottle could I anyways um, next step what I'm gonna do is I'm going to coconut oil this is a bit very important step I'm gonna place coconut oil on my skin, so all around my hairline, so ears, forehead, face, just, but I'm just gonna cover myself basically, my neck, everything, because again, Bright Organics, very pigmented, and I've done this before where I didn't apply any coconut oil or Vaseline to my skin that is exposed to dye, and it ended up staining the back of my neck, and I had a bluey green neck for like a day or so. It doesn't last for too long, but it definitely, um, stains you and you can't tie your hair up straight away now make sure you wear gloves again because as I was saying very pigmented it will stain your hands I've already got it on my fingers as I was mixing which uh, I don't love for me because it looks nasty so with all that said let's get started I'm gonna apply this coconut oil and start coloring It's on the door. It's on the door. Uh, uh, um, 
I took my dressing gown down so I wouldn't do this. I didn't think it would get on the door. It's pretty much gone. I'm sure I can get that with bleach. Be careful, you bloody idiot. gonna sit I'm gonna leave this one probably like an hour or something they generally say in the packaging like 15 minutes or something like that or 10 minutes but I diluted it so I'm gonna leave it in a little bit longer and yeah I'm just gonna let it soak in so I'll see you back I'm gonna rinse it and I will blow dry it and I will straighten it I'll do all the cliche like reveal stuff um, so it's looking pretty blue right now um, yeah, I'm hoping that it actually rinses and it's a lot lighter. So, yeah, see you in about an hour. Ta-da! All done. So, it has obviously got that ombre effect due to, obviously, the different colours of my hair. So, that orangish tone has come in a, more of a green and then really light, sort of bleached uh, sections on the bottom. They've come in nice and blue. Not as pastel as I would like, but it will wash out pretty quick. Um, even if I maybe throw a dandruff shampoo just to strip it out, but I really like it. It's quite pretty, it's quite cute. Um, yeah, if you've got bleached hair, bear in mind, it will take very quickly. But yeah, so yeah, that's it, that's it done. Pretty, it's got some light tones, some dark tones, some green tones. But I like it. I think it's cool. I had a bit of fun. I did my makeup. I wouldn't, what do you think of that? This took me longer than it did to do my freaking hair. Um, must admit, I'm not a strength, but I'm really enjoying um, makeup tutorials at the moment. So I thought I would give it a go. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a darker look than what I would normally do. But I figure I bought the lipstick for a reason, so I would give it a go. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please give me a like, um, subscribe to the channel, share the video, whatever. I don't really care. Don't do it, whatever's. But yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye.